We just published a new chatbot template with Google Gemini and the Vercel AI SDK, and I wanna show you how it works. So on this demo, if I click on these widgets, I can list the flights flying from San Francisco to Rome today, and I get back this interactive component. Now this is using React Server Components and Server Actions and the AI SDK. So I'm able to actually click on these rows. Let's say I want this 8.30 PM flight. I'm able to use the AI SDK to communicate back and forth and actually render out now this interactive seat widget as well too. So maybe I wanna pick this aisle seat for my flight. This demo gives me a couple options. Maybe I can proceed to checkout or I can list some hotels and make a reservation. Let's go ahead and proceed to the checkout here. So the next step is it's gonna give me my Google Pay widget. I'm gonna pay $980. Maybe I should have done this last week. I can put in my confirmation code here and hit submit and we'll fulfill the order, charge my card. Okay, payment succeeded. Now, maybe I wanna show the boarding pass or I wanna see the flight status. Let's say I wanna see the boarding pass. This is just opening up the art of what is possible with this type of workflow. It could be something like this airline experience. It could be a customer support experience. This could be part of a mobile web app, or it could be in a native mobile app. There's so much that this could be used for in the future. And we're just getting started with this generation of generative UI experiences. Now, if you want to build something like this, this template is open source and available for free. So head on over to Vercel and check out this Gemini AI chatbot. It'll get you set up with everything you've seen here, including rate limiting, authentication, and a whole bunch more completely open source. And because it's using the AI SDK, you can also easily switch between any model that you wanna use. So if Gemini has a new model, you can upgrade to that or any of the other models that support function calling or tools like OpenAI as well. So check it out, let us know what you think and please give us feedback on where you'd like to see us build in the future.